relaxing to it for a few seconds. You just chill in it. Ah, oh, okay. I can relax. And then a natural phenomena, because it's your nature, opens. Oh, you know, I want to read a book. Or I want to watch a Netflix movie. Or I want to write. Or I want to sing. Or I want to paint. Or whatever. Space opens. And you feel the love. If you go in your head and make it conditional that, yeah, I have to live in Tulum or Caribbean or somewhere in order to be happy, then you're in trouble. So we can use this pandemic as an opportunity to work on ourselves because for the first time, for a lot of us in our lives, you are limited into interaction. You're limited in distractions. So somehow existence has forced us, or most of us, to be in this situation. Force majeure. Okay, now that I'm forced in this situation, how can I turn in from a poison to the medicine? How can I take advantage of a situation that I think it's been forced on me? I think. Okay, now I'm in this situation. Existence has put me in this thing that, hey, Maybe next year the whole humanity is wiped out. Okay, so fucking what? Far out. I prefer the whole humanity ends because we're all gonna be together. <laughs> so I don't wanna be here as a single person and everybody else is dead. It's not fun. If Everyone's going to die. I want to go with them. I don't want to be here. So what am I going to do with these months that I have? I'm going to do everything I wanted to do. Because I only have one month. But now, forget about the month. What am I going to do right now? In this moment. So let's use this opportunity to learn how to be here. Since you're forced, you can't go out and the mind cannot get distracted with external distractions. I can say, I am in a Tibetan monastery in Tibet and my job is to be here. This is what I'm doing. And I'm going to use this opportunity of the pandemic towards my advantage of voluntarily are going to practice every day being present. And I voluntarily are going to disconnect from the world of thoughts. So then you start to work on yourself. And the more you do it, boom, the more the juice, the presence is going to pour blessings in you. So you have no idea. A week, two or three weeks go by and you're just constantly finding yourself in these blissful, three hour blissful, blissed out stretches that actually you don't want pandemic to end because if it ends, you're just going to be out there interacting with other people. And you're kind of like, you know what? I kind of really like this. I wanted to continue because now it's giving me a chance to dive into the love of self. Mm -hmm. So that's why I share with everyone, we're in a place in our time that is extremely unique. 
And actually, this is the time that transformation is gonna take place. Because all of my major transformations in my life were either near death experiences, or I was heartbroken, a woman broke, or girl, a woman broke my heart, or someone close to me died, or I lost everything, and it forced me into growth. It forced me to do more inner work and dig inside. And I'm grateful to all those events. I've never been a victim. Even if I was tortured in a political prison, I don't consider myself a victim. It was a blessing from God. I had to go through that to learn and to grow and evolve to the next level. That was a wonderful question. I hope I was able to answer it. Yes, thank you very much. That was very, very helpful. And uh, the details you gave as well uh, helped to, to yeah. ground it, right. you know, in, in the self and in, in the being in the eternity. So thank you. You're welcome. You're doing a good job, my dear. Thank you. Hang in there. Mm -hmm. Hang in there. It's easy to get stuck into the story. It's very easy to forget that the trust of trusting the box, the one who created the universe. Let the creator take care of the creation. And we are children of God. Some intelligence brought us into this world and we are its, its responsibility. Let the one who has brought us into this world take care of us. We don't need to worry about that. Let's recognize the presence of this intelligence in our lives. Because maybe it's trying to get your attention. Now, we don't like the word God because we're all connecting the word God with some dude with white beard and white hair and with a stick who every time you talk about the word sex wants to punish you. Okay, let's not use the word God. Let's use the word consciousness. Her majesty, the supreme. But something, a bigger intelligent presence is running the show, is making this planet turn around itself. It makes this planet to turn around the planet sun. It makes day to night, night to day. It makes all these trees to go in hibernation and then wake up in spring. It runs all these systems in my body, there, there is an intelligence here. We can't say it doesn't exist. And I'm all alone here. And what's gonna happen to me with COVID and the life world is gonna end? No, no, that's not it. This intelligence is above the COVID and above anyone who created it. It's the will of the Allah, it's the will of God, it's the will of the source that disease exists. Virus survives. Without the will of that which created the world, Nothing can be here. 